Hello everyone and welcome back to Balloon Sculpting with Drew. I of course being Drew. It's been a while since I've made a video but I have found the perfect subject matter for this video. I've gotten a lot of requests for this and I've seen other people do it but now I have my own version of the classic Sega character Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes! That wonderful, wonderful, fast-paced video game character is now going to be in balloon form for you, my loyal viewers. So, to do this correctly, we will need, first and foremost, three dark blue or royal blue 260 balloons. Remember, I only use 260. The, one of them has to have at least eight to nine finger leaks at the end. The other two have to have about seven to eight. But whichever one has the least amount of air in it, that's the one we're going to use for the head, so bear that in mind. We will also need one beige with also about an eight finger length at the end, and we will need a couple scraps of red, and finally a five inch white round balloon. So, strap yourselves in, get ready, and let's get to work. First we will need our beige balloon. This will be the under part of his chin and going into the front um, torso of his body. So the first thing we need to do is we need about three finger lengths. Make your twist. And then add a one inch ear twist or lock twist. See that right there? Excellent. Now let's do another three inch twist. No lock this this time, but another three inch. So we have something like that. Okay. Now we add another one inch lock twist. And another three inch bubble, or I'm sorry, three finger length bubble, whichever you want to call it. I have my own personal style. And so you will have something like this. Here is the nozzle right here. So I'm going to twist that into the rest of the balloon. Now, this is going to seem kind of funny, but squeeze all that air out of there. A small half inch ear twists. So you will have something like this. Now bring the majority of that inside, make a small half inch bubble, a one inch lock twist, and if you lose a couple of lock twists, don't worry, you can always get them back very, very easily. So now I have something that looks like this. Can everyone see that? There is the top, there is my middle lock twist, and the rest of this leave for the moment because this is the body. Like I said, this will be the torso. Now, grab the balloon that is going to be for the head, the one that has about nine to ten uh, finger lengths from the end. First thing you want to do, a small, 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 make sure you have enough room to do this. A small half inch bubble, make it a lock twist. This will be the nose. And in this area, the one place that does not have a lock twist, go ahead and thread it underneath and bring it back up. Sonic's already looking so good. Now, add about uh, four, maybe four and a half finger lengths and make another twist. This will be the front of the brow. And from there, squeeze a little air into the end of the balloon and uh, let's take about seven finger lengths and make a twist and bring that together for a flower petal. Now, since there's a lot, uh, since there's a lot less air in this one, go ahead and squeeze it just a little bit gently, right there, so that you can create that nice big, uh, um, that first little hair piece on the top of his head. Now, take three finger links, make another twist, and bring it and lock it into that rear ear twist that we did before in the beige. So there we go. And if you want, for this little piece right here, you can finagle it a little bit so it has a little more rounded dome to them. Now, with the rest of this, everyone can see, squeeze that air out some more so it keeps on moving and so you have enough to work with. Make a three inch or a three finger length bubble, just like in the beige, and tie it into that same ear twist. Now take another three, up to the top of the head and around. Once again, three seems to be the magic number for this shape. And into that opposite thing. And another three, and back around and tie it into that same lock twist as before. And take this, go ahead, pop off the rest. There you are. Now, for Sonic, you might want to save these little fragments of blue, and I'll tell you why in just a moment. But tie. 
And look at that. We are coming along so beautifully right now. Look, everything is intermixed. We have the nose right here. We have the brow. We have the first little part of the hair. And everything is looking beautiful. But don't stop. This speed freak needs a lot of haste. Now, the next thing you need to grab is your other royal balloon, the one with a little bit more air in it. And as you can see, I've already sculpted one just for the sake of saving time. In the end, we're going to have two that look like this. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. For the moment, I'm going to put this to my side, and I'm going to do two one-inch bubbles, and each of them are going to be an ear twist. So we're going to tie those together thusly, and then right down the middle, boo! We have an ear twist, so it looks like a couple of lips right there. Now we're going to take four finger links, make our twist, and another one-inch bubble. Are you keeping up with me? I'm trying to stay quick, as is the as is the personality of our fine subject matter, Mr. Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, from here we're going to do another four, maybe five finger links, make a twist, yet another one inch bubble. All right, now here's where it gets a little trickier. Three finger links, a one inch bubble and ear twist, lock it up. Now another three bubble right here, one more lock. And you see we have this. Now the remainder of this, let's go ahead, be very gentle. You have about, I don't know, about eight finger lengths from this part of the balloon to the edge. Make sure you're going to pop this, but give yourself enough room so that you have a nice extra piece right here. So pop, save that, let a little bit of air out, and now, ha-ha, we have this. This will suffice as the arms where the two ear twists were. We will use this as the arms. Now take your other one, and right where the ear twists are, right here and here at the top, twist them together. Uh-oh. Oh, I made a faux pas. I made a little bit of a problem. Because as you can see, look, I missed a step. Ah, but that is why we always have extras. And it's not hard to do at all. All I need is one lock twist. And just a little bit to add. And I'm going to save this again just in case I need it. Aha. Uh -huh. But as you can see, here were the arms. I did that correctly. Here is the body. Let me get the arms a little more presentable so that all of you at home can see. So here are the arms. Here is the majority of the body right here. Make sure you have this, these two parallel so that we can put the middle section, the torso, right there. We have the two sets of individual twists, now doubles, on the back. Now, as you can see on this leg, I had made an upper leg, a knee, a lower calf, and a foot. I forgot it on this one. So, if you do that, it always happens. Just make another ear twist on another piece of balloon, little piece right at the end, and just go ahead and tie that in so that everything is uniform. Ta-da! We have the body for Sonic. Now, the next step is... We're going to put the body aside for a moment. We're not going to connect it yet. We have to finish off the head. So, we'll start with our five inch round white. You don't need to blow it up that much. Let most of the air out of it because these will suffice as the eyes. So, once you have it to about that level, like that right there on my palm, just a little one, tie it off closest to the nozzle. There we have it. Now. Take the middle section and twist it so that one has now become two. And, of course, if this is the front, we've got to stick these eyes right between here. Now, if you're a little scared that the eyes might pop out, remember the nozzle is right there and you can just tie it into the top of Sonic's head so that it will not move at all and will always stay proportionate and inside the head. But look at that! Look at that! It even has that scowl, that Sonic. You know, that mean look, but with the big smile that he always has in all those wonderful photos of him. Now, for this, I know he has lots and lots of hair. That hair gave me the worst nightmare of all. But I did discover what to do. Take the small scraps that you used when you were making the body and blow them back up. Let me find my pump so I can do this. 
Now, leave at least two finger links from the end, no matter where it is, and tie the end of it off. You need a little bit of room. Okay, you need a little bit of room. Now, find the middle point from this and twist it in half. This should be good enough that right here behind the head, there should be a little gap, a little opening, big enough that you can put this piece where the twist is and kind of fold it up just like that. See, it is coming along wonderfully, wonderfully. Now do it again or as many times as you can just to get that nice poof of hair behind Sonic. So once more, here we go. Two finger links right there at the end. This one's a little smaller, but that's all right. Make sure you tie it. And find that middle point twist, and you should have enough of an area. And it should be soft enough that you can just squeeze it through without causing any damage to your balloon. And look at that. Look at that. Sega Genesis people would be so proud of me. I am rocking this balloon. Now the only thing left is connect the body with the head. So let's go ahead and make sure that everything is back where it needs to be. Reposition the neck right under here, okay? And add a small twist. So you're adding one more little half inch bubble right underneath the, the inside uh, lock twist that we did a few moments ago. Put the body, these two, right here. Put the neck on, carefully. Ah, don't worry, don't worry. If it comes apart or explodes, you know, we just have a little bit of work to do, but nothing major, nothing major. Oh my goodness, this is turning out so wonderful. I'm impressed even myself. So look at that. Now, this part right here, find the link, give it a little bit of length, twist so that you have some extra, and twist it into the waist. And whatever's left, whoa, uh -oh, we can get rid of that just with a simple pair of scissors or just a pop and a top. And we twist it into the waist even more so that it will not come apart. And we have the classic character of Sonic right there. Look how tall this guy is. He's over a foot tall. Don't worry, if you can condense the size, remember, this is just my personal preference because everyone likes Sonic and my Mario Brothers are about the same size so you know I can't downplay a treasured traditional video game character like Sonic. Alright, the only thing that's left for this fine, fine character is we need to put the eyes on so you grab your handy dandy Sharpie. Now he has an evil scowl, not, well not evil but he has a mean scowl so make sure you put those eyebrows on. And just so he doesn't look, so he doesn't look completely upset on one side right here, just add that little smile or smirk so that it looks ready for the race. Now one more thing, uh oh, I did make a mistake. Look at this. Oh my gosh, he has red shoes. What did I do that for? Ah, oh, stupid, stupid, stupid. So we gotta add the red shoes. I'm gonna take this back off. I had no idea if I can. There we go. Take that off. And you know what? Just uh, I'm going to undo this little thing and I'm just going to pop it. So sorry, a little misstep, but you know what? I'm excited. So I was right the first time. So we have no feet on them now, but what you're going to do now is make a few, just a small red shoe. So with your scrap, you're going to, I'm going to put him aside for a moment. As you can see, not much to this. Just from the nozzle end, squeeze all that air out, about two to three finger lengths. One one inch bubble, another one inch bubble. Tie those in, give another few lengths, pop, and let the air out so you have about a one inch bubble on the back. See, even the best of us make mistakes. I'm just so excited that I'm finally getting this on video and I hope you're enjoying it at home. Now, take him where these little nozzles were, where the feet were supposed to go. Go ahead and tie those ends right into the shoes we have made. Look at that. 
Look at that. We have Sonic, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present my version of Sonic the Hedgehog, a character I grew up with, with the first video game systems when they came out. Now, there's one more thing you could do if you have time. The thing you could do, if you really, really want to, is you can add white hands and maybe white socks to this character. Now, I'm not really one for the white socks since we went through all the trouble of putting the shoes back on. But, you know what? Let's go ahead and give him some hands. Well, not going to be too hard. All you need is a little scrap of white. That's all. That's all. And there we go, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Drew. Remember, balloons, balloon art is trial and error. Never be afraid to try new things. And always, always have a great imagination. Hope you'll come back and see us again. Have a great time. And zoom!